Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. Well, luckily the folks at Houston didn't have to wait too long for a new team in a new stadium once the Oilers skipped town. They were rewarded with beautiful Reliance Stadium, home of the great Super Bowl 38. And that'll host this edition of the NFL on ESPN. Got a good one on tap for you. Chicago Bears, Houston, Texas. Next! Field warming up. and welcome to Reliant Stadium. Here alongside me is our color commentator, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, today's game features a contest between a core of skilled wide receivers and a squad of athletic, prolific defensive backs. Without question, Dan, it's a contest of speed and wits. The Bears have a group of receivers with a great mix of talent. They make it awfully tough for defensive secondaries because they're just such a well-rounded, talented bunch. The Texans have a troop of burners in the secondary. These speed demons are dangerous for offenses. They can really surprise you with how fast they get to the ball, whether for an interception or a big hit. These two outstanding groups matching up against one another should make for some exciting football. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's tails. Number eight kicking off for the Bears. There's the signal, and we're ready. Kicks and football. Number eight boots the opening kickoff. Pierce catches it back at the one. Breaks the tackle. Right down at the 24. Pierce was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Texans send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Nixon catches it over the middle first as well Texans. past the markers for a first down. Marcus Stroud has little problem completing this pass. He makes it look so easy, and he's getting paid so much money, Dan. It makes you wonder. And there he is with the catch. Well, look, uh, you got an easy job, Peter, and you made a lot of money. What's the difference? Well, the difference is I got to work with you. Oh, yeah. Number one goes in motion. Nixon gets the handoff and gets past the line. Stop at the 49. Kenny Nixon has some big numbers. 6'1", 228. Man, that's a lot of running back. The defenders who try to tackle him find out just how much real quick. Second down, Second three yards to go. Ball at the Texans, 49-yard line. Nixon gets the call again and first picks up the first Texans. down. Kenny Nixon played it smart back there by following his blockers and that allowed him to make some good yards. Nice second down call and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether just like that. Stroud throws this on the rope, first and down, the catch Texas. is made well past the markers for a first down. Collins makes the catch here with three defenders on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder if he knew it was coming. Yeah, Peter, I think you could argue that that throw probably should never have been made. It was very risky, but it did work out. Yeah, it's all about staying focused and believing in your teammates. Number one makes the catch on the right sideline, and that's a touchdown. Touchdown, Texan. Number two 
number one. It's head to head on this one with the pass coverage, and the ball is waiting for him downfield. That's a great catch. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, Dan. Perfect execution. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Here's the point after, and the extra it's point good. is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 15, booms a beauty here. Carter downs this in the end zone for a touchback. After the game, let's get on that new EFP football game. All right, man. Cool. Okay. Let's <laughs> do this. Let's do it. The Bears get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20 yard line. Number 15 goes in motion. Williams unports this to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Number four, he's a good player. Six feet, 180, and a nose for getting in the ball's way when he needs to. He can stop a play in more ways than one. Second down, one man back. Ball at the Bears' 20-yard line. Number zero makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Zero swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Moore goes in motion. Williams throws a bullet here, down and there. they get the first on third and long. Allen had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big first plays when you need to, and you can't ball coach that. Forty-yard line. up one on the play number four got some help on that one in the form of blocking but he still couldn't make a play out of it not much there it'll be second, second down got to take what you can get Dan but they were you know, hoping for more second down and four wideouts in the game Dan bunch of receivers out there defense is expecting that and they go to nickel Williams rifles this one hard first over the middle there. and first the catch is made well past the markers for a first down Number 15 had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they remove the chain. Great execution. Moore grabs the rope right side, and he's looking for room. Eventually tackled at the 23. First down. Moore fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. Let's go, baby. First and ten. Ball at the 23. Number four. Barge is off right guard and gains about three yards. Second and six. Ball at the 20 yard line. It's intercepted. And 
the 17. Check out the interception here on the replay there. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Texans are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 17-yard line. Crowd zings it to the right side, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Pass interference, number one, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Johnson manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First and ten. Ball at the Texans, 24-yard line. Mixon has his number called on first down and heads wide left. Kenny Mixon brought down at the 24. Kenny the Mixon tackle. used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Second down, Second two receivers to the left. Ball at the Texans, 24 yard line. Mixon makes his fourth carry of the game and picks up a couple. Kenny Mixon had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third and eight. Ball at the Texans, 26-yard line. Intercepted. Breaks the tackle. Runs out of bounds at the 20. Number 29 knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air reception. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Bears were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 20-yard line. Number four gets the toss and runs into traffic. Right down at the 20. Number four had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll second be second nine. down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down with a split back here. Moore makes a tough catch down and there. gets past the markers for a first down. Moore is all by himself and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. And that'll do it for That's quarter number one. Quarter. The Texans are out in front, seven to nothing. <laughs> Allen goes in motion. Number four takes his fourth carry of the game and takes it upfield. Tackled at the one. Number four has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers opened up the hole for him. A huge game. A decent play, and they will now face second and short. So you take a shot here? Well, there are a lot of options in this situation, but it may not be a bad idea. Four gets past the line and gets in for the score. This is a nice short yardage run here, Dan. When push comes to shove, you want to be able to get the yard you need. And as you can see, they got it. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, Number he's got 12 yards and one touchdown. Number 57, holding. Holding. <laughs> 
Here's the point after, the extra and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number eight rockets this one deep. Number 19 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Texans stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Stroud throws a beauty to the right side, and incomplete. they can't connect. Incomplete. Number three, was the Number three had that ball in his hands Number on that play, and then he just the dropped it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and second it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. All That'll Texas. bring up second down. Second down from the eye. Nixon gains five on the play, and that brings up third down. with the tackle. Third and five. Ball at the Texans, 25-yard line. Stroud throws a heat to the right sideline, and they just burn on third Texans. down. Marcus Stroud gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. A nice game, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Nixon picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down, Second just a single receiver on the field. The Texans, 41 yard line. Nixon gets the call again and picks up a couple. Number 49. With the What's the plan? Okay, let's go. Third and one. Ball at the Texans, 43 yard line. Number 57 Passes tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 57 knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Peter, the defense, stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Number six lines up for the punt. Number six takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Carter fields the deep punt at the 12. Stopped at the 18. Andre Carter got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Bears offense takes the field, and they will start out at their own 18-yard line. Four, used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and nine. Ball at the Bears, 19-yard line. Williams throws a heater, and the ball is caught at the 26. Eventually shoved out at yeah. the 30. That will first bring up first down. Man, Number 24 finally gets to his man and hauls him out of bounds, but the damage is done. There's the push. They've already got the first, so I think he was getting out uh, maybe a little frustration. Yeah, he was using the ball carrier as a human stress ball. They can't pin him down on second and long, first and now and it's first and ten. Very disappointing execution by this defense. Four. 
touches this one left of center and maybe picks up one on the play. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Bears 31 yard line. Williams zings it to the right side and it's intercepted. Intercepted down at the 38. Harris shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Texans have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at the 38-yard line. Kenny Mixon, the ball carrier. Number 98 with the tackle. Second and 10. Ball at the 38 yard line. Nixon gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down, Third seven, seven yards to go. Ball at the 35. <laughs> Number 29 Passes makes a play on this one and Number forces 29. the incompletion. Oh, yeah, It'll be fourth down. Oh, yeah, baby, yeah. Number 29 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That Number was a good call by formation. the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. <laughs> Number six lines up to punt after the three and out. Number six takes the snap and punts it away. The Bears let this one bounce, but it will pin them deep at the nine. Number six showed some great accuracy on his punt there, Dan. He landed it inside the ten, which will give this offense First lots to think about. Chicago. The Bears could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own nine-yard line. Number four picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Number 35 had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I got a quick word with the trainers, and they said that he simply bruised his hand. He's working it out on the sideline here, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you. Thanks, Susie. continue to run. Zero was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, one man down. Scott goes in motion. <laughs> 15 snags the dart right sideline and they get the first on third and long. First and ten. Ball at the Bears 30 yard line. Number four picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. Number four played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Four barrels 
off his left guard and he picks up a couple. Number 35 goes in motion. The Bears take their first time out. First down and five wide receivers take the field. is at the 10 finally stopped at the 4 number 15 is going to make a great play right here snags the football and then really turns on the juice and Peter we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have the the on a football quarter. game that's right Dan a lot of people still associate receivers with speed but right here height was what did it so that'll bring the first half of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all tied. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Bears should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number one had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 28-yard touchdown for the Texans. The Texans get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Bears towards the end of the first quarter. The Bears in control at the 20. Number four shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Texans still late in the first. Texans up by seven. Number 29 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Bears now in the second quarter. Number four got the carry here and he was able to break through. A one yard touchdown for the Bears. Game tied, seven all. Harris is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Dub Bears, last play of the half, ball at their own 42. Williams had it going through the air as he found his man for a big play. And that's where we'll leave this one. Texans are keeping it evened up. We're tied 7-all. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Number 15 has taken over this game. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Bears get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have Number a chance 15, to break the, the deadlock. Texas. It's all tied up here. Now, let's get to the game. Carter downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Bears have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. it in the flat and picks up four on the play. That's complete. Number four made Number the catch without any challenge the from the defense and he took advantage of it. Definitely a slow start but he's finally got a completion and, and maybe now Peter he All has time players, to make his mark on the game. But where was he in the first half Dan because I, I didn't notice him on the field at all. 
Number 14 goes in motion. Williams throws a heater right sideline, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 24 completely breaks up the pass. You know, he owned that zone so clearly. Yeah, I bet he comes in on his days off to repair the turf. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Catches the heater left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Pass interference, number zero, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul, automatic zero. first down. Slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First and ten. Ball at the Bears, 32-yard line. Allen goes in motion. Williams zips it to the left sideline and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Williams let that one fly across the field, yet somehow he nailed his receiver. It takes a strong arm to make that happen. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second and inches. Ball at the Bears, 41 yard line. The 38. Number 35 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Allen goes in motion. Williams wipes it out left side, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Allen has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Ball at the 48-yard line. Number zero, tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Zero came in and got a hand on that football, and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Second and ten. Ball at the 48-yard line. Williams fires this one over the middle, and the completion is good for six. Williams threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Moore catches it in the flat, and they convert on third down. Moore got the first by going outside and slipped here. out of bounds. <laughs> Going to sign a few autographs, I bet. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. First and ten. Ball at the 35. Number 14 goes in motion. Number four will take the handoff and... Heads out right, tackle at the 30. Number Jones used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five. Ball at the 30-yard line. Moore catches this one and is well past the markers for a first down. Williams played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Number four gets 
the call on first down and chews up about four on the play. Second and six. Ball at the 12 yard line. Receiver and forces him to drop the ball. Incomplete. Number 20 closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Williams throws a bullet and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Number 15 took on there. triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. Another great catch. And Peter, he's been working that right side of the field with good success. Yeah, it looks like he's found a weakness and uh, he's going to exploit it. First down, 14th play of the drive coming up. Number 35 goes in motion. carry on first down and number rambles four, for about carrier. five. Number four, beat his man with a sweet little juke move back there. A decent play and they will now second face second and short. Ball Would you take one. a shot here? Well, there are a lot of options in this situation, but it may not be a bad idea. He's That's in for there. the touchdown. And this is a nice little run here. A good job of slicing through the D and picking up the yards that he needed. I love to see fight like that on those shorter plays. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. Now the point after, the extra and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number eight, booms a beauty here. Pierce downs this in the end zone for a touchback. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, All right, man. all right, yeah. The Texans haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Mixon catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Kenny Mixon took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Ball at the Texans, 22-yard line. Stroud throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 21. Texans down hard at the 37. It will be first down. Kenny Mixon goes out to play ball in the NFL. He makes the catch and then works for more yards. That's the kind of player you get the ball to. He reels in another one today. I wonder what they put in his oatmeal this morning. Probably the passing playbook. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Bears are out in front 14-7. to seven. First down, two receivers to the left. Mixon chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Second and six. Ball at the Texans, 41-yard line. Mixon has his number called on second down and heads wide left, chases him and drops him back at the 37. 
Number 31 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. 37-yard line. Number 29 tips it away on the coverage incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 29 managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for Number that situation. Six. And it will bring up fourth down. Number six gets ready to punt this away. Number six gets the snap and punts it away. Carter heals the punt at the 18. Tackled at the 27. Andre Carter did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Bears will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at their own 27-yard line. Makes the catch on the first right sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Williams completes a nice pass past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan, and there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. Another short pass, and he likes that area first of the field so far. Yeah, why not? He's had success there. in behind the line of scrimmage. Number 35 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got six tackles. Second down with the tight end right. Number four takes his 19th carry of the game and will lose about a yard here. Anderson not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Number 15 goes in motion. Williams zings it to the right side and is caught at the 49. Chase down at the 45. It will be first down. Moore has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Hmm, uh, that sounds pretty good. That's broken kind of a cold streak for oh, him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Number four goes right up the middle and chews up about four on the play. Number 20 with the tackle. Number four is taking it up the middle and battling that defense head on. And you know what, Dan? He's winning that battle. Look at the numbers here. So far, he's got 40 yards on 20 carries. Second down from the shotgun. Ball at the 41. Allen goes in motion. Number four loses one on the play, and that brings up third down. Zero. Not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Number 30, 
five. Brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Taylor gets ready to punt this away. Taylor gets the ball and punts it away. Number 20 gets it off the bounce at the four. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turn the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. The Texans will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.50. Johnson tips Passes it away incomplete. on the coverage, incomplete. Johnson with the deflection. Marcus Stroud knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 92 yards and one touchdown. Second down. Second the clock is stopped at 146. Three-yard line. Stroud dumps it out left and this one is incomplete. Number 29 kept Number both eyes on the, the short out receiver. on that one and caused Number the incomplete pass. The on second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third, third down, 10. 10 yards to go. Ball at the Texans, three-yard line. Number 29 Passes makes a play on this and forces Number the incompletion. The that will bring up fourth down. Number 29 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Smith makes his presence known on this one. He's going to haunt the ball carrier's dreams for a while. A oh, big tackle on fourth. That's how you stop a conversion. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. The Bears will start this drive with unbelievable field position with the clock at 135. Number four gets the ball on and heads left. Tackled and the The Texans take their first time out. Second down. The clock is stopped at 130. second third down both wide outs to the right number four will get to carry on third down the Texans take a timeout that's their final one Fourth down, goal to go. Number 57, holding. Number eight from 19 yards, and it's through the uprights. Number 57 handled this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Number Dan, the eight, defense has to be happy with how that one played out. 
The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number eight rockets this one deep. Pierce decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 25. Pierce not out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Texans start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 113. Stroud fires this one over the middle, and it incomplete. is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number one, was the Number one tried to snag that one Terrell across Smith the middle, but it doesn't cover. happen. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, Second too. And ten. Second down, one Ball man back. 25-yard line. Number nine tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number nine, Number nine came in and got a hand on that football, and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive Third deep. Ten. Third down, the Texas. clock is stopped at 106. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. Number 31 gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. That was some aggressive play calling that deep in their own territory, and it may have cost them dearly. I just don't see how they were in four down mode there, especially at their end of the football field. That's a bad call. Loss of one on the play. do it for That's tonight's game. The Bears come out on top 17 to 7. For my partner Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Bears stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll start this one off late in the third quarter. Number four was able to make things pay off on the ground. A one-yard touchdown for the Bears. Kenny Mixon ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. Bears out in front by seven. Williams would find his target on this one. Dub Bears have it after a turnover on downs. Number eight called upon after the red zone problems, and he is true on the short field goal attempt. A 20-yard field goal, and that's where we'll leave this one. Bears come away with a win, 17 to seven. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Number four is down on the field with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You showed your mettle, an impressive performance in what turned into an impressive win. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I have to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. You know, the offense starts out with the foundation, and that's the offensive line. Those guys often get overlooked, and they bring it every game. 
I think their hustle was a big part of us coming out on top today. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.